Hello friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now you got this idea that okay, any 3D shape can be visualized as being made up of two dimensional shapes. Now the question is how do we build this 3D shapes? How do we actually make them? Because if I ask you to make a pyramid on a sheet of paper or if I ask you to make a pyramid from triangles, so how do we actually make it? So 3D shapes are built with skeleton outlines in 2D. So basically first we make a skeleton outline in two dimension and then we fold that outline to get a 3D shape. Sounds weird and interesting both, right? So let us look at this example. So we had been talking about a pyramid of this kind in the previous slide. So what type of pyramid is this? This is a pyramid with a quadrilateral base. So this is the base of the pyramid. Now, even before, how do we determine that what would be the 2D skeleton outline of this pyramid? So, in order to determine that, we have to first identify the faces of this pyramid. So, in order to make this three-dimensional pyramid, you need a quadrilateral base. So, basically, you need one quadrilateral and you need triangles. How many triangles? Now, since the quadrilateral has four sides, from every side, you have one one triangle going up. So, one yellow triangle from one side, a blue triangle from one side, dark green triangle from one side, light green triangle from one side. So from every side of the quadrilateral base, you have one one triangles. That means you actually have four triangles. You need four triangles and you need one quadrilateral in order to make this three dimensional pyramid. So the two dimensional outline would be somewhat like this where you have a quadrilateral here which will act as the base and you have the triangles like this. Now here I have purposely drawn the triangles in the same color. Let's say this is triangle 1. So this represents triangle 1. This is triangle 2. This represents 2. This is 3. This is 3. And this is 4. So this is 4. Now you take a sheet of paper. You draw a quadrilateral like this. You draw triangles like this and color them in this way. Now what you need to do is fold the paper from here along this line. Fold the paper along this line, fold the paper along this line and also along this line. And then what you do, you pull the tip of all of these, all of these 1, 2, 3, 4. You pull their tips, that is these points, you pull them and bring them up and make them meet at one point. And that one point would be this point. So basically what you are doing is, you have a quadrilateral which would be the base. You fold the four triangles on four sides of the quadrilateral and flip their tip in such a way that the tips of all the four triangles, they meet at one point. And what will you get? You will get a pyramid which is three dimensional. Now when you talk about this skeleton, this skeleton was drawn on a sheet of paper which clearly proved that this was two dimensional. But the moment you fold these triangular parts and you pull them to meet at some point above. So you are basically involving a third dimension which is nothing but the height of this point from the sheet of paper. So this height is the third dimension that we are introducing by this folding. So therefore the pyramid that we get is a three dimensional image. So when you place this pyramid on a sheet of paper, it doesn't lie along the sheet of paper. It is protruding from the paper which shows it is three dimensional. So this is how we build three dimensional shapes. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.